what's up? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Adrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright, you know that? What? I told you, bro. Look, my name is Ruben, but the Ruben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though seriously, dude, big fan. Nothing yet. So you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse. Incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? You're messing with the wrong guy. And his friends. Yeah, they're awesome. Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? You have a deal. Jesse! Hey, hey, there we go, sport fans! Well, I tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I think we're all winners here. But just to be sure you don't <laughs> try and renege on me, we'll keep your friends nice and safe in here. Remember, they're counting on you. Slap! Be a pal and give our new friend a walk home. Sure thing. Come on, squishy. Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Adrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. You didn't take it, right? Oh, dear. No! Why would you do that? Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my. I'd have never let you do this. Petra, come on. I'm sure Jesse feels bad enough as it is. I took the deal because I didn't want to upset Hadrian. I figure if he's happy, the smaller the odds that more of us would end up in little obsidian boxes. I guess. That's ridiculous. There's no way Hadrian will actually send your friends home. He'll wait till you lose and then send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by them. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good, there's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? <laughs> that is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, 
We can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. It's useless. Don't you want to go home, Em? I do, more than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. That's right. Tim did beat the games, and so can we. <laughs> yeah, sure. Except nobody's been able to do it since Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying. We all have. Oh, come on. Sure, Tim's a legend, but we're better than Tim. Better than Tim. Tim somehow beat all those gladiators alone. I don't think any of us are better than that. Yeah. I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but those gladiators are like super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but okay, look, for real, I don't think I could do that. Like max level scariness, okay? Boo! I'm not sure how Tim pulled off defeating the gladiators. Their fists are huge, their weapons are super scary. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? Well, you know what I am sure of? If we combine all our fists and stuff, we're gonna be even tougher than the gladiators, even tougher than Tim. Oh, I get it now. If we work together as a team, you might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you, and I believe that we will be free. Yeah! Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. I'm done trying to help you. I've got all these other people to worry about. You don't know anything. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, you did hear it, right? Loud and clear. It just might not have been enough. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> Competitors ready for the final challenge? The, it's walls. the walls! So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. Hey, Paul, did you stop yammering at me? They're talking about the rules or something. I'm trying to listen. Yeah, I should have guessed you're one of those people who listens to the rules. Don't worry, huh? They're just about to get to the important part. Mavia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Oh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mavia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh, gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Too dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Adrian, I 
I can't help but notice that our newcomer Jesse Section. Hey, <laughs> seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. As a gladiator, who's heard this a lot? <laughs> oh my gosh, do you really think so? That's terrible. Oh, wow, I mean, yeah, C could you not tell? I hate you. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Gravel? Gravel, that's worse than dirt! Just dirt. Come on! I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Uh. This should be interesting. Competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Jesse! Yo! Jess! Ha ha! <clears throat> Hang on now, we em got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. You seem pretty sure you're about to kill me. Are you with us or not? Oh, ye of little faith. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes. The finishing blow. What? <gasps> Thought maybe it was time for me to start helping you. It appears Emily has I was wrong about you. I was fed up with you, but you're okay. Newcomer. Yeah. I was kind of wrong about me, too. Following... This isn't how it was supposed to go. What's going on? I have no idea. Come on. Over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? Yeah, man. I can totally see why you'd be confused. Yeah, we're, uh... Confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? We're not killing each other because we're done fighting, Slab. It's over. Uh-huh. So why do you still have your weapons out? Done fighting each other. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them! They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that Jesse has decided that deals don't need to be kept and is trying to convince the gladiators to follow suit. These aren't your games anymore, Hadrian. Uh, th these weren't our games? Wow, my urge to destroy is dissipating. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon. Right? You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemate finds that idea... weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab, I'm so proud of... Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm. Even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this together! It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. 
As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the game. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. This wasn't the deal, Jesse. No, no! And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners. Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. No! Mevia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. We had a deal. And you broke it. Bucko! We're in agreement! You promised me! This is about more than just me and you, Hadrian. This is about every competitor who never got a fair shake. Oh, isn't that precious? Doesn't change the fact that you went back on your word! This isn't up to you! We control the games! We decide their outcome! Mevia... Shut up, Otto! Come on, Mevia, just admit you lost. You'll feel better. Lost? We'll never lose. We still have the Atlas. Ha! Ah! Well, that's the thing. Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. Otto! <laughs> It's been fun, really, but I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Now, because uh, I will trap you here forever.